What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Quick and easy video coming at you today. I'm gonna to show you guys how to take care of the turn signal recall um, on our Tundras that affects the model years 2018 to 2020. Um, not every truck, I don't believe, but if yours was affected, you should have been notified by Toyota. I'm a little bit late on this video. Um, a lot of you guys probably already have this taken care of, but it's something you can easily do in your garage or in your driveway for all that matter. Um, very simple fix. I don't like other people touching my truck unless they have to so that's why we're going to do it myself and i have my grill off here um i was doing a little bit of work over the weekend and uh i was polishing and stuff like that but anyway i have the grill off so it's going to make it easy for me to get at the headlights so i figured i might as well show you guys how you can do this yourselves and get that recall taken care of i did speak to toyota about this i told them i'm just going to take care of it myself they said that's no problem and uh so we'll just we'll knock this out and we'll, we'll get that wiring harness fixed for the turn signals if you're unfamiliar with what this recall is just real quick Toyota wired the turn signal wiring harness incorrectly from the factory. It'll, it doesn't allow your turn signal bulbs to be as bright as they should be. Now, my turn signals, I upgraded to LEDs, so it's actually not going to affect my brightness. Um, so I'm more or less just doing this just to fix the wiring harness, and so Toyota can knock it off my recall. So there's not an open recall on the truck, basically. All right, so let me show you how to get this done. Very simple to do, something you can easily do in your, in your garage, driveway, street, or wherever you have your truck all right guys here we are on the driver's side of the truck i because i had my grill off i just went ahead and removed the headlights to get at the back of them give myself a little more room to work and to show you guys what you have to do here if you don't want to remove your headlights like this you can do this with them in the truck all you have to do on the driver's side is um you can you can either try to get your hand down there there's not much room to work with but you can take the battery out of the way and then on the passenger side, the windshield um, washer fluid, the reservoir tank, if you remove that, there's only three 10 millimeter bolts to remove that. That'll give you room on the passenger side. But I wanted to do it this way just to kind of show you guys and give you a good look at what you have to do. So here is the driver's side. And again, as I mentioned, I upgraded the LED bulbs. So again, this is not gonna affect the brightness on my truck, but I just, again, wanna take care of it so there's not an open recall on the vehicle. So. This is where Toyota screwed up. When you're looking at the back of the turn signal um, connection, this middle wire should be on the outside. So in order to remove that middle wire and switch it over, all you're gonna do, so you're looking at the front here, this white piece right here is just a lock. If you look down on the bottom of it, down under here, there's a little bit of a groove. So all you're really gonna need to do this is a little sm uh, small flathead screwdriver or something similar. If you just take your screwdriver down in there and pop that white lock up like that, that'll come right off, okay? And it's gonna give you access to the, to the inside. Now, once you do that, there's a tab down in the bottom, and I'll take a couple pictures and circle the parts just in case you can't see them well on the video. But down underneath here, so you have a pin here, a pin here, and then an open slot here. Underneath there, there's a tab lock. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push down. Let me see if I can do this to try to give you guys a look at what I'm doing. But you're gonna push down on that plastic tab lock in there. At the same time, you're going to pull that middle wire from the back. And again, let me see if I can do this. I'm trying to give you guys a look at what I'm doing, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> like that, okay? And the, the tab lock, the lock that you're looking for is right underneath the pin when you look in there. All right, so again, I'm not sure it's gonna come out so well on video, but when you're, when you're looking in there, you can't really miss it. So now once you have the pin out of the middle section, there's a black little bit of a grommet right here, protecting so nothing gets in there. To pop that out, you could either take your screwdriver and kind of dig it out like that, or if you have a small enough screwdriver, you can go from the front and just push it out the back like that. All right, so now you can see here's the little black grommet. So all you're going to do is take that, put it in the middle spot where we just removed the pin. You're going to take the pin and make sure you have it properly. Pay attention to when you pull it out. Um, when you're looking at it, there's a fat end and the, there's a fat part and a skinnier part. The fat part goes on the bottom. So when you're popping this pin in and you'll hear and feel it click in. 
So you're just going to push it in and let me see if you could hear this. I don't know if that came out on, on camera, but you can hear it and you'll actually feel it click into place. Once you do that, just take your white lock and again, just make sure it's lined up. There's the little groove you can see on the bottom there. That's where you're going to put the screwdriver to kind of dig it out of there. Let's put this back in place. Now everything is locked and secured back in place. I'm going to replace my bulb and we're done. So that simple. That's all the recall is. And if you did not upgrade to LED bulbs, again, all that all this is going to do is allow you to um, get the full brightness out of your bulbs. All right. If you have LED bulbs, you don't need to do this. But again, I just want to get it taken care of. So the open recall is off the truck. And uh, next time I have it in a Toyota um, for my for my 15 mile serve 15,000 mile service, they said they would just check it, make sure it's. Um, to make sure it's done and they'll knock it off the uh the open recall so that's all there is to it guys hope it helps you questions comments concerns leave them down below and we'll see you on the next video